Welcome back to the Hot Tip Bets Daily Pick Show for Thursday, August 12th. Got a couple games on slate for the MLB today, so let's just jump right into it. Starting off, we got an afternoon game between the Rangers and the Mariners. Mike Voltanevich on the mound here for the Rangers in this one, 2-10 and 10 on the season for him. Marco Gonzalez on the mound for the Mariners. Three and five on the season for him. So neither of his pitchers record-wise have had great years. Um, and really looking deeper into the stats, haven't had great seasons altogether. Holtonevich, a 5.77 ERA, has really struggled this season. Gonzalez slightly better here, but still struggling with a 4.72 ERA. 1.36 whip for him. Holtonevich a 1.32 whip. But really the probably the biggest struggle for Holtonevich this season has been his lack of strikeouts. Just can't seem to strike anyone out. A 16% strikeout percentage is all he's got. Um, decent job not walking, guys. Only 6.2 walk percentage for Gonzalez a little bit worse when it comes to walks 8.2 walk percentage and also does a little bit better with the strikeouts at 19.1 but let's be honest neither of these guys are are pitching great games this season um, for Fulton Evich also gives up some pretty big hits you know a 90.9 average exit velocity with a 44.8 hard hit percentage Gonzalez a little bit better 41.1 hard hit percentage 89.5 average exit velocity but still more big hits than you want to see especially at this point in the season these teams just are two teams that have really kind of struggled with that that all season uh, for Fulton Navage, you know, a 269 expected batting average, 501 expected slugging. You know, whenever that slugging is above 500, it's it's not good. And for Gonzalez, it's even worse. You know, a 286 expected batting average, 545 expected slugging, one of, if not the worst, expected slugging um, in the league at the moment. So, two pitchers who have definitely struggled, and they're on two teams that haven't done much better this season. You know, the Rangers only scoring 3.76 runs per game. However, they allow 4.99, which is really the what I'm looking at going into this over. You know, the Mariners score 4.19, will allow 4.65. And what neither of these teams are a super offensive powerhouses you know um obviously by how many runs they score per game um we'd see that but with these two pitchers on the mound these two teams playing each other i definitely think we're gonna see a pretty high scoring game here you know the rangers run differential minus 139 the mariners a little bit better at minus 52 but both these teams do tend to lead toward the over the rangers only slightly you know a 55 53 and 5 record towards the over the mariners 57 54 and 3 towards the over so um Really, with Fulkanowski on the mound, Gonzalez on the mound in this game, I really just don't see any way this game is low scoring. So I like the over eight and a half in the Rangers Mariners game. For the second and final game on the card, Toronto Blue Jays taking on the Los Angeles Angels. Uh, Blue Jays got Jose Baveros on the mound here in this one, eight and five on the year for him. Shohei Otani on the mound for the Angels, a six and one record on the season for him. And obviously, you know, the, the highlight reel of the entire season has been Shohei Otani, you know, pitching and hitting and just doing everything that he, he's been doing. And he's been doing it at a high level. You know, the Otani, a 2.93 ERA, 1.09 whip on the year. Baveros, though, also pretty good, a 3.23 ERA, 1.03 whip. So two pitchers who base level stats there have done some great pitching um and Maveros does a decent job striking guys out 25.8 strikeout percentage which is much better than the first game we looked at today but i'm um, still not that top of the league by any means otani though doing a really really good job here 29.9 strikeout percentage otani does struggle though a little bit when it comes to walking guys granted it hasn't hurt him too much this year um, but it's definitely something to keep an eye on you know, a 10.2 walk percentage for him Maveros only a 6.1 um, but none of either of these guys give up too big of hits otani does have a 41 percent hard hit percentage which um, it's kind of something that scares me a little bit about this game, but only an 88.8 .8 average exit velocity. Riberos does have a slightly better in both here, 37.1 hard hit percentage, 88.1 average exit velocity, but um, just two great pitchers in general. And, you know, Otani shows that off with his expected adding average being 193. Absolutely insane. Only a 312 expected slugging. Riberos, though, also good in the categories here. 232 expected batting average, 386 expected slugging. So, just two pitchers who have had some great seasons coming into this one. I think we're going to see a real pitcher's duel. The Blue Jays are a team that, you know, has really leaned towards the under the season, 58, 49, and 5 to the under. Um, the Angels, on the other hand, not so much, 51, 62, and 1 to the under. Um, but with this pitching matchup, I really do think this is going to be a pretty low scoring game. You know, the Blue Jays only allow 4.05 runs per game on 7.76 hits per game. The Angels slightly more here at allowing 4.95 runs per game off of 8.2 
six hits but with otani on the mound that should definitely help him out in this game um and the Blue angels only allow a 246 uh, opponent batting average blue jays a 236 opponent batting average so really these two teams are two teams that do a pretty good job defensively especially when Biberos and otani are on the mound i think we should see a very low scoring game here so i like the under eight and a half in the blue jays angels game that is it for today's MLB card. If you want to see picks for everything happening in the MLB today, head over to hottobest.com. Check out the computer model picks up on the website. If you're not already following me at Hot to Best Chris on Twitter and Instagram, make sure you follow me there so you don't miss out on any future content, as well as on the Best Hamp app to get early access to all of my picks. And if you're not already following the Hot to Best main account on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, make sure you follow there to stay up to date with all of the computer model picks and everything going on on the website. As well as if you're watching here on YouTube, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notifications so you don't miss out on any future content most importantly drop a comment down below let me know who you guys are betting on tonight you like my picks for today you faded me love to hear what you guys think of today's card so thanks for watching today's show and i will see you guys tomorrow <laughs>